three, wide receiver Wayne Jarrett. Hey! Eshawn! He just five seconds ago turned to me and says, I hope they picked Wayne Jarrett because I can teach him, I can show him how to Your play. Teammate! Hey, I'm really glad to have him. We're glad to have him as a teammate. This is a great pick. And the reason why it's a great pick is because we need another wide receiver. We need that third guy. I know we got Drew Carter and Kerry Colbert there, but this guy is much like me. I'm going to teach him how to be physical. I'm going to teach him how to play at the point of attack. He can gain a little bit of weight, but he plays exactly like me. And this is going to have a segue to me maybe moving into something Well, else. one of the things that John Fox, the Carolina Panthers, coach, told me, he said that at some point we got to find a guy like Keyshawn in this draft, a bigger physical receiver, because we obviously have Steve Smith for a number of years. Do you know him? Do you know him, Keyshawn? I, I, I know him, I know well, him well. I know him well, and I told Dwayne, I talked to him a little while ago, and just told him, just be patient. You're going to have the opportunity to be great in this league, and you're not going to worry about the money, because guys who go high, a la Freddie Mitchell, first round, Bust, gone, not gonna make any money. If you if you're Dwayne Jarrett, you wanna go lower in the draft, and then you have an opportunity to hit free agency and get big money. A guy like Dwayne Jarrett using his size, much like me. Look at that right there. Boom. Stick route, back outside, touchdown. They cannot do anything with him. Here you are right here. Fade route. These are the things that we do a lot in the red zone with me in Carolina. So I'm extremely excited about what we've done right here. You can retire next year now. I don't know about next year. Maybe a year after, but we'll see. One year at a time at 34. Well, while he's auditioning to get a job with the Panthers, second round, but you're auditioning in this business. Well, we'll see. <laughs> it works out for the best of it. He's better than auditioning, man. That guy's... <laughs> Hey, certainly productivity. I mean, and what would you tell him coming into pros? I mean, the guy who you've known, you've known him to. You've gone to the games. I, I, I think one of the things in watching Dwayne and, and, and being down in Arkansas the first game of the year and watching him against Chris uh, Houston in Arkansas and saying to myself, one of the things that he needs to work on is getting off the line of scrimmage because they're going to press you. They're going to come up in your face, and until you become violent, then you're going to have you're going to have some problems. Sure. Are, are, are you happy? Are you glad that this is over with, Dwayne? Yeah, man, I'm happy. I'm glad. You know, um, you know, this is the best thing. You know, I've been blessed to get to this point, and uh, you know, I got my support of my family and everybody here. So, you know, it, it was it tough just sitting around waiting to, to not know exactly what was going to happen as you started watching teams drop, drop you down the board more and more. Yeah, definitely. You know, it, it was tough, but you know, I'm just happy to be on the Panthers right now, and uh, I see you there, Keyshawn. <laughs> With the, with the advice that I gave you to stay in school, how you what, what did you feel about it at the end of the day as you watch yourself take drop down a leaderboard? Um, you know, I think everybody has their own path. You know, I just did it for me and my family, and uh, you know, I thought it was the best decision for us, and uh, we just gonna keep going from now. And that's what I told you. Don't worry about where you're gonna get drafted. You're gonna make a lot of money and be very successful in this league. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. A teammate, it's the same school.